Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use triggers with your AI agents. So triggers are, like the name implies, a way to trigger your AI to work autonomously. So if we look at the available triggers, um, when you receive an email, um, when a new calendar event is created, when a new document is created, when a new file is added to your Google Drive, you know, there, we have a few, a few triggers available and we're hoping to add a lot more. Um, but when your trigger is ran, it will forward the data to your AI agent and then your AI agent will use its instructions and its tools to perform the task you need it to do. So in this example, I'm going to create a news assistant agent. And what this guy does is every single day, he will search for AI agent news and get me a summary and links and then send it to me via Slack. There's a lot of ways we could do this. I'm just going to do it the simple way. I'm going to give it the Google search tool. And if we look at the tool, there's just this one field. And if you leave the field empty, the AI will fill it out for you. And then I need to give it the Slack tool. So I'm going to give it the send message to channel Slack tool. And this one I do have to configure a little bit more. I have to give it the connection to my workspace and then I need to give it um, what channel I want it to um, post to and then I'm going to leave the message field empty which means the AI will fill this one out for me and if I tell it oh and I have to give it instructions I already gave it instructions but this is what I told it once you're told to run you'll perform the following actions search the web for any new AI agent news then generate a summary with links to use your Slack tool to find your findings. Um, I could give it a tool so it knows what day it is. Um, I could tell it better how to query um, for daily news, you know, but I'm just going to let the AI figure it out for this one. Um, and let's just try it out manually right now. So run. Okay, so he's searching Google. And then it used Slack to send a message to the channel. So if I pull over my Slack, I sent this. So NVIDIA, CES, yeah, they had a huge announcements yesterday. Um, so yeah, a lot of a lot of cool stuff with links. You can see it's trying to do markdown. So maybe in my system instructions, I could tell it not to do markdown. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. So now let's assume you want this to run every single day and it sends me a Slack message or it, it generates like a email, right? So um, let's go back to the agent and let's add a trigger. So recurring schedule. And I'm, when do we want this recurring schedule to start? Um, as long as I pick any day previous, it'll run immediately. So I'm just going to pick like yesterday. So starting yesterday at noon, um, and every day I want you to run, um, or you could do every Tuesday or every first Tuesday, um, or I could set a custom date. And in this case I am, I'm going to do every minute because we don't want to wait a whole day till it's noon tomorrow. So every minute it will run now. So if I hit save, we just have to wait and then we should see our agent just work. Okay, so I'm bringing this over. And I'm going to delete this guy. It's just locked. Okay, so let's just wait. Okay, and here we go. So we just got a message from the agent. So it says AI agent news. And it just gave me... So he thinks it's January. Oh, it is January. Oh, we're in January already. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, so here's all the news we got, and we got some Slack or some links in there as well. So now, how can we see this in the platform? So if we go to the Conversations tab, we can see every conversation all of our agents are having. Uh, so if I go to this guy, um, we'll see the recurring schedule trigger triggered the agent, and the agent immediately began to use Google Search, and then it sent a Slack message, and then it gave me a summary here. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you use triggers and tools.